What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Bay Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. As you all know, you do not have to believe in tarot. Do not exclude yourself from the message because this shit can actually happen. Cam Newton is a Taurus. Okay, all my information will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop a tip in my cash app, leave a comment, let me know. Y'all, I do personal readings as well. The first one is always free. So you can get a feel of my energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump into this because podcast edition. Now, again, Cam Newton, y'all is a Taurus. Now, I don't know if that struck a nerve for anybody or not. However, I don't understand why everybody is so out of sorts about what he said. He is not the only man in the world that has eight children by three different women. If you look at Nick Cannon, who has more kids than that NFL player who has, what was it? He had 10 plus kids. Nick Cannon has 12 plus kids by way more baby moms. And then the other guy, the NFL player, like, I don't understand why everybody is just, why Cam Newton is the center of attention in this, in this situation. Let's just be honest. He just wants to be able to ejaculate in women freely. He's trying to pull an offset in Cardi B. Offset, allegedly, said he wanted to cheat in peace, okay? This man wants to just ejaculate in women in peace and use his money as as what he want he just wants to use his money to justify what he's doing he don't want the responsibility clearly and then had the nerve to say he wanted some more kids i don't understand he's only doing just like nick cannon when he had his interview with with dr Cheyenne, Shan, Bryant, whatever her name is, when he did in where he was telling it, women, he's telling y'all what men do. And she's sitting here trying to argue with him about what is literally in his nature. This is what men do. Unfortunately, men that don't have money don't get the opportunity to do this. But Pookies and Ray Rays, they do. They do. So we can't say, oh, it's a particular type of man. If Pookies and Ray Rays can get it, the up, the, the higher ups can get it. Don't tell me that the middle class men can't get it neither. Because you, yeah, no, at all of them is getting it. Oh, there's a small percentage of men that, da, 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 da. man, I ain't trying to hear that. You either can get it or you can't. And most men nowadays, let's let's just be honest. These chicks is willing to give it up to anybody. And I would really, really, really like to show some attention. Look at this, the first card that popped out, okay? The chick that Cam Newton is dealing with right now looks like a fool. She looks like a big dummy. She thinks she cute. And she is a little bit, but honey, don't nobody care about how you look when you look stupid, okay? The first card that flipped out, a man will never abandon ship unless he knows he has a life raft waiting. In this particular situation, he wants more kids. Did he say in that interview, oh, I want more kids with my current girlfriend or with the current baby mom or no he just i just want god to bring them he just want god he don't even know if he want more kids with her or not you know what he want more kids with her and somebody else too he just wants to be able to try every donut in the donut shop okay and not to mention blue and black blue and black and see she thought she was doing something at that at that stand-up comedy show because the current baby mom is a comedian i forget what her name is but she thought she was doing something you look like a fool a jackass a big dummy okay a retard you look like that then nothing about what you doing says oh my god look at her go like look at her go sit down that's what that uh look look y'all you can have sex but you can't read write or spell okay he played football Anybody can play football. Anybody can play football. Anybody can play football, okay? This man, all he wants to do is sleep around. He got the money, okay? Just like in, uh, 
it, it's just like it's just like supermodels. Supermodels are generally known for being stupid. They're beautiful, they get money, they get fame, they get attention, but they're they're not really too smart up here because everybody is doing everything for them. Everybody is doing everything for them. So they don't have time to think for themselves. Go, oh, go put this outfit on. Go put those shoes on. Go over there and get your hair done. Go in the back and do this, 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 and this. So they don't have the opportunity to think for themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's why models get really, really bad. Even though they have really high paying positions, they get fame, they get fortune. They're still looked at as dummies because everybody is doing everything for them. And in this case, it works both ways with men and with women. He was able to play a sport. You don't got to be smart to play a sport. Look at Nick Cannon in the movie Drumline. He knew how to play the hell out of them drums, but he didn't know how to read music. So it don't matter. It, it don't matter. It don't matter. Now, this reading is for Taurus specific. It doesn't just have to be for Taurus sun, it could be Taurus moon, Taurus rising, Taurus Venus, okay? But right now, Taurus, you may be in a position to where you wanna jump ship, you wanna get with somebody else, but you don't, you may not have somebody else in mind yet, or you may be looking for a particular type of person. But again, you want to have all of this sex, but you can't read, write, or spell. And if y'all looked at how he dressed, Taurus people generally know how to dress. They have like a very feng shui to their dressing. He just looks a mess to me. Look at that. Vegan, music. Somebody may be vegan or music or, you know what I get? I get a cover. I get a cover. The cover or the face of. And Cam Newton has been the face of football to some degree. He's been very well known in the football community. So he is the face of something. Now he may, uh, vegan, he may be a foodie as well. So Taurus right now, you may be the cover of something. You may be, you know, front page of the newspaper club. You may be the face of the chess club. You know, Taurus people too, and generally tend to get in odd activities. Like I met a Taurus who was a master locksmith. Like how many people do you know are master locksmiths? You know what I'm saying? They're into what's not really so common or everyday, like a locksmith, a botanist, a mortician. You know what I'm saying? Like Taurus people generally tend to be in activities that are somewhat considered odd or not really every day but they may be the face of something right now so this could be for a higher class Taurus or um maybe you have a lot of Taurus in your chart but all right so i'm gonna pull this one fake news can kiss a non-conspiracy's factual ass Fake news. So the thing is, fake news came out right under a man will never abandon ship unless he has a life raft waiting. Well, that's not necessarily true either because he can just abandon ship and, and, and find somebody later if it gets too bad. But a lot of the time, tourist people generally, in my opinion, connect with people that are either least compatible for them or usually they connect with people who are mean to them or people who will kind of treat them you know what i'm saying people that will kind of treat them bad in a sense like they like people that will treat them bad they also like people who are willing to submit to some degree as well it's kind of like a i want that mean girl or i want that mean guy who they're mean but they're submissive. It's kind of like, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna argue with you and I'm gonna yell and scream and get in your face, but I'm not going anywhere. So it's kind of like, I mean, I know what I did gonna piss her off and make her mad, but she not going nowhere. She gonna curse me out and probably throw something at me, but she not leaving, but he not leaving. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of, the, the types of people that I generally see, um, 
Taurus deal with. Those type of people. Like, yeah, they're going to get mad, but they're not going nowhere. So, yeah, look at that. Three sides to somebody. Aquarius, Taurus, or Virgo could be involved in this situation. So, I see, and this came out right under having sex. So, you having sex with all types of people. You having sex with Taurus, you having sex with Virgos, having sex with Aquarius. You may be having sex with multiple people right now, or you might be engaging with multiple people right now. If you're a Taurus, Cam Newton, definitely, I would say. Um, And like I said, this is just the kind of like, let, let's just kind of gauge the energy. Because Taurus people right now may be going through this. Taurus may be dealing with multiple people at this time. And that's not to say everybody can't, but a real shooter never missed two in a row. That's because every two shots, they get in a new ball. Every two shots, they get in a new hoop. <laughs> they not missing. Clearly, they balls is not missing okay clearly somebody ain't missing they ain't missing shots okay somebody ain't missing shots cam newton certainly ain't missing no damn shots okay so mm, 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 whatever now i'm picking up heavy vegan or something with food um to the vegan chef, uh, what did the onion say to the vegan chef? Cut me and I'll make you cry. What did I say? Cut me and I'll make you cry. Now, again, what did the onion say to the chef? Cut me and I will make you cry. And so the onion, the onion gonna get cut and still get ate. Meaning the onion ain't going to get up and go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, you might get cut up, but where are you going to go other than the pot to get cooked? Cam Newton is something goddamn else. Taurus people themselves, the Taurus energy is something else. Look, into the taboo. Cam Newton is very taboo. You can tell by how he dress, he's taboo. You can tell by how he wear them. I don't know if them is locks or wicks in his hair. I don't think he got wicks, but he do got locks in his hair as well. Your boy, on, your boy is taboo. Your boy is, ta he look like it. He look like it. He look like he's borderline nuts. Like, I'm getting something about light skin or pale. I'm getting like light skin or pale skin, something about somebody's skin tone or complexion. Babies. Look at these baby, baby boys. Somebody may want twins. Somebody's kids may be bad. Naomi, can you let your dog out, please? Let's get a couple more. If you don't, you better. And this can go, and I made this card for all the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, usually I see Taurus people with, uh pisces i generally see taurus people with capricorn um taurus i usually see them with gemini or other taurus so i don't really think taurus discriminate in that way i just think that they like beautiful things they like beautiful people they like attractive so the taurus man would be the type of man who he'll deal with beauty before brains because she won't have to say nothing look at that i need my space duh after he get finished doing what he doing then he needs space or taurus after you get finished doing what you do you need space but what i was going to say was taurus people to me like beauty over brains 
And that's that's just my opinion because yes, they do like people who are intellectual. They like people who are smart. But for me, Taurus people rather prefer somebody who is pretty. If you pretty and you can just sit over there and be quiet, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Taurus would be all for it. Like you have some people that say, yeah, you cute. Yeah, you got a nice body. Yeah, you fine and I'll, but you dumb. So I don't want you. You got some people that will say that. However, Taurus people, I don't see as that people. They always go for things and people and stuff that's beautiful or that's luxurious. Dudes will be 35 and still act like this. Exactly what I said. He still, he acts childish to me. And Tauruses usually don't have their fathers to some degree. They usually have like either issues with, with their fathers. Either the fathers usually die at a young age or their fathers aren't really in their lives. They don't really have certain type of connections with their dads. Most Taurus men that I know are like that. Most Taurus men that I know generally have some type of issue with their fathers. See, take your emotions out. You always hear take your uh, take your emotions out. You never hear take the logic out. So I think a lot of you women or men who are whoever you are, you're dealing with the Taurus, take your emotions out of it. Because to me, they're not really the spill your emotions type of people. They don't care about emotions. And I believe that I've dealt with a couple of tourist men in my time, not necessarily romantically, some of them romantically, but tourist men to me don't really care about emotions. They care about self. It's all about me, how I feel, what I want. You know what I'm saying? They just generally tend to think that they're the big kahunas because tourist men generally do really, really well in life as far as obtaining money having a good job, saving money. Taurus people are really, really good at saving money as well. And they'll they'll pay all your bills. They'll buy everything. Look, we got it again. Where was it at? Oh, right here. Taurus, this, they could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or an Aquarius. Three sides, three different shades, three of something, and also double of something because I think... They may want, like I said, baby's kids, baby's kids, because without a father in their lives and see Taurus people too, especially the men generally deal with their kids. If their kids come out to be something, if their kids have the potential to, to, to be something or to become something that could benefit the Taurus man then they're all for dealing with their kids. But if their kids are like low level or low life or, you know, just low, they generally just kind of isolate from, from their children in that way. So it's like, well, if my kid is doing good, I'll be there. But if the child is not doing good, I won't be there. Okay, it's, it, it really is that type of energy. It really is that type of energy with Taurus. Like my mom, my stepdad, my daughter, my best friend's son, who is my godson, all Taurus. So I get a baby Taurus girl, a baby Taurus boy, an adult Taurus male, and an adult Taurus woman. So I get to literally observe, watch, and understand every kind of aspect from childbirth to, to adult how Taurus people work, how they manage, how they are. And then Taurus people have this thing that really gets me when they try to act like they don't know how to do something or they don't know stuff. Like I gave you an example, my daughter. I have this nail file and this nail clip that has been in the bathroom on top of the counter in the same place for a couple of weeks now. I'm on the phone with my dude or whatever. I'm talking, I'm talking to him. She comes out and she says, Ma, do we have a nail file? She been sitting in the bathroom about 30 minutes. What you been doing in the bathroom for 30 minutes and every day that them clippers and, and nail file been in there that you couldn't see it? What what you doing? Like they're the they're those type of people. They be trying to act like they don't know what's going on and be all in your business. 
I bet you my daughter probably at her door listening right now. And the only reason she ain't came out here is because she hear me talking about her. I bet you. I'm willing to bet. She going to make it a point to act like she don't know. I'm telling y'all, if you know what Taurus, you know what I'm talking about. Now we about to transfer over. I'm telling y'all, now we about to transfer over to um this Kipper and see what other information we find out about these Taurus men and women. Because it can go both ways. I feel like Taurus men and women aren't. They're silly and they play a lot as well. Can you not talk to my dog like that? She didn't do anything to you. Now she's trying to chase her out of the room with her laptop computer. Yeah, because she keeps And see, they also do that. They'll start stuff with you and then get mad when you do something or say something back. Oh, don't mess with it. Watch out. Let's see what else we get. Oh, Taurus people can be very annoying. They're least compatible with Aquarius. They are least compatible with Aquarius. I'll tell you that much. In the beginning, they may be cool, but then like as they progress in, in any kind of relationship, it just, it, it goes left. It usually does. Head bumping. Now, excuse me, somebody may be in bad health right now. A Taurus could possibly be in bad health. Either they're in bad health or they work in a hospital setting, which I do know a few Taurus that work in a hospital setting. However, um, somebody could possibly be sick. If you're not, if they're not sick, they work in a hospital setting. Somebody could be sick from having too much sex as well. A STD could have occurred in someone. Look, Cam Newton. Cam Newton may be sick. Cam Newton may be sick of sex. He may be sick of sex. Look, Cam Newton is sick of sex. But not how you... Look, he's sleeping with the community. He's community. He is community. Look, a thief. He's thieving. He's stealing. He's stealing the. Uh, 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 I don't want to say he's stealing the lives of children, but he's he's robbing children of their childhoods because he knows that having all of these goddamn children, all of these is, is not benefiting anybody's child. It's not benefiting the birth mothers. He don't even really want to have nothing to do with the birth mothers. To be honest, he wants somebody, he wants somebody, if not multiple people to submit to him and just do what he say and pay them for it. Like, it's kind of like, I'm going to pay you to do my homework. I don't want to do it. I don't have to do it, but I got the funds to pay you to do it. So just do my homework for me. You know what I'm saying? That's it's that type of scenario. There's a concern also about his occupation and the family room. Yeah, so I'm telling y'all, this guy along with other tourists that may be going through this Y'all, before we end this, I listen. Cam Newton, do not. Fuck up more children's lives. Let's just leave it there, okay? Do not fuck up any more lives of any more children because potentially it's not about you. It's about these kids. You can do what you want to do. You want to sleep with multiple women that's ready to allow that to happen. Do it. But leave these babies out of it. Leave these babies out of it because when these babies get older and they and they 
and they regret having you as parents you know what i'm saying or they what's that word i'm looking for when it's it's when um resent you don't want these kids to resent you these kids ain't gonna like you i don't like you i don't care about your football career your football career is over i don't care about your podcast i only seen that one episode with dr cheyenne like at the end of the day somebody like you i don't pay attention to and most people should not pay attention to this kind of guy they just shouldn't this is why he's blown up so much. This is why he's so big headed because too many people are giving him that ammunition and they shouldn't. So y'all, if you don't, you better not.